up and welcome back to another video where we go plow snow, baby. Starting to snow again. They said it was supposed to be over. It's actually starting to snow again. Little concerning. We're gonna check the radar in a little bit. We've got 11 acres that we're working on right now in Woodbury. Uh, this is like the first time we've ever been here and there's no cars. Generally, we just have to hit the drive lanes. Um, but looks like they're slowing down here at this distribution center. So we've got literally all 11 to 12 acres to do. Uh, and then we got a lot more to do too. So let's keep rolling. All right, so we are out here in Forest Lake, something like that, I'm doing a site right now. Uh, I just got done doing the sidewalks, let Ducky jump in the truck, just kind of trading off. I will say, as you guys probably have realized over the last year or so, majority of my time is spent doing bids, meeting with people, kind of managing the business and whatnot, but it is really nice and really rewarding to get out of the truck or just get out of the office in general and you actually get out here and do some of the work um, clearing the sidewalks it's just something about it you can't replace that feeling once you, you do a good job and it looks good uh, and you've cleaned the walk and whatnot now i say that with a grain of salt because i was going to tell you guys what we're doing here is clearing these sidewalks but one of the things i was going to point out to a lot of people that they don't do um tucky's back here going at it run the snowblower along the curb line here now you can see this looks like crap here i'd like to get it closer but this parking lot is in terrible 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 condition you can't tell because a lot of the potholes are filled with snow and there's weeds growing up all along here and they're just it's hard to get it super clean so i might take the shovel along this and try to pry it out a little bit but i couldn't get it any better with the snowblower um because it just kept hooking and you can probably see there's grass and dirt and all kinds of stuff hooked in here so um you know i'm not trying to wreck the snowblower over it but Make sure you guys when you're doing sidewalks or things like this, you're getting that curb line clean so it's exposed. Looks like we've got an actually slick spot of ice here. We don't salt any of this. Um, they do it themselves. But so yeah, just some kind of helpful tips there. But we've got Ducky running the truck right now. I don't know if it's his first time plowing or what, but doing pretty good. Just following. He's done this side a few times with me where he's shoveled and whatnot, so he knows what to do. But Doing a good job. We got the 6.2 today, actually. Um, we're running the 6.2 gas truck. I figured we do a lot. Um, if you guys haven't seen from my other videos, I set up my routes, a lot of residential stuff, so I can just be doing the residential. And if the issue arises with equipment or personnel or something like that, there's a problem, I can break off of the residentials and go start doing stuff elsewhere. Um, makes my schedule really flexible because the residentials aren't as important, so to speak. They're all important, but they're not as important as getting businesses open and safe so people can come and go and there's no liability issues there. Um, usually homeowners don't have to worry about people suing them if somebody slips and falls or something like that, or as businesses do. So the businesses are obviously the priority, but that keeps my schedule available. Like this morning, we had an issue at a site. Um, it seems to have an issue every time we do it with something, a gate was locked or this or that. So I went down there and kind of helped out with that. And then we just kind of helped them get a jump start on it as well. That, well, the site we were at earlier. Um, so, yeah, it keeps my schedule flexible, but keeps us busy here going. So I'm going to get on the shovel, just try to detail this curb up a little bit better. Then I'm done with the sidewalks. We're going to jump in the truck with Ducky, and he's going to finish up plowing this. So let's do it. So one of the things I want to point out to you guys here, um, just while I'm kind of walking down the sidewalk, when we look at a site like this, uh, this is how we address it. It's how we bid it, and it's how we plan to do it and everything. But essentially when we come in, we're going to open up the whole main entrance, push everything to the side. And the main goal here with a site like this is just clearing everything from the curb line here where the sidewalk is, meets up with the pavement, clearing it all the way over to there, pushing it down to the back to stack snow, et cetera, et cetera. So 
that's kind of how we look at a site like this. That's one of the things you guys want to do as well. If you've got somebody with you, it's great that they start doing the sidewalks and you start plowing everything else. Like right now, Ducky's got to come back through here, hit this again, which, you know, it's not ideal, but it's also not the end of the world because um, it's easier to do it with the plow truck than to have the plow truck wait and do this. But in a perfect world, we'd want to get all the sidewalks done, blown off this whole line, kind of snow blowing along here um, to clean the curb up. And then he comes along, drops the blade right here and pushes everything out and it's done. But so he's going to come back. We'll scoop this all out here. But obviously, as most of you guys know, that's what you want to do. Anyone that's newer, though, might not know that. So it's good information to share there. But here's a good example where this is new pavement here. And you can see there's not a million weeds growing in new concrete. But trying to get that curb line as clean as we can all the way along down there, like I was saying. So I'll grab the shovel here and detail it up a little bit. with this wheel loader back here and then it's getting hauled to a snow dump all right so just so you guys know this is the first time i've ever done this um so we're just going to bring you along for the ride and kind of show you how this gets done but right now we're kind of plymouth area of minneapolis or just the west side of minneapolis and we're headed over to uptown they call it uh, in minneapolis and we're, we're gonna be um just relocating snow so the streets get cleared and then all the snow that gets pushed along the city streets the guys pile it up in there and then we pile it out loaded into trucks from there so i'm gonna swap the bucket on this komatsu wa270 we're gonna get that other bucket going and then we're gonna get well headed that direction because the guys are waiting so let's go All right, let's get on the road. This thing is uh, ready to go. Got the different bucket on, I'm not gonna lie. I actually think that other bucket's a bigger bucket. I could be wrong. Well, maybe not. It just looks shallow from here. But nonetheless, that's what we got. Truck's locked, I'm gonna leave it here. Let's go. Welcome to the captain's chair. All right, so we just got on site. Basically, what we're doing is clearing this whole street. Um, all these guys are pushing everything out and they're putting it into piles like that one right there. Trucks should be here around midnight. Um, and then I'll start loading them out with the wheel loader. So these guys are just getting everything prepped ahead of me, getting stuff ready to go.
They are just getting after it over here. Painting her all up. Making progress waiting on trucks. Uh, update one of the trucks blew a hose or some belt or something or other, so we're a little bit behind on the trucks right now, but these guys are getting everything stacked, piled, whatnot. We're loading it out here shortly. So they're down one truck, but we should have three trucks coming uh, in the next 30 minutes, hopefully, is the plan.